linking and backlinking is typically the thing that most Obsidian tutorials start with first. But I've avoided it because what I found when I was getting started with backlinking and linking is that I actually found it a bit confusing. So I thought, let's get you started on the basics of text editing and working within a document, and then we can expand our knowledge outside of a document. So to link to another document, this works very much like Wikipedia. So say, for example, we have some text over here, and we wanted to put an inline link to the code blocks page, which is a page that I made earlier on. We want to link to this page here, code blocks. All I'd have to do is insert a square bracket and it nicely wraps it for us. And then we have to add another square bracket. And immediately it brings up some pages that we can link to. Now, suppose you have thousands of pages in your vault. You can just search by using various things. So, I mean, I put um, OO and of course the only thing that has OO in it is footnotes. So you can search through your notes um, within these backlinks. So I'm going to link to code blocks here. It looks kind of messy over here, but if I go into the preview mode, it just looks like a regular um, backlink. Now, what is the significance in linking and backlinking? And I'm just going to pop over to my graph view over here, and this is where we really start to get a sense of what's going on here. As you can see, we were just on this page here, linking and backlinking. And there is now a line between code blocks and linking and backlinking. If I go to code blocks and I open up the sidebar here, I'll see that linking and backlinking is mentioning this page. And it, I can even open it up here and it shows me the context of where it is linking. This is really powerful because it allows you to create complex navigation systems in your notes or very simple ones but it also allows you to create relationships between notes um, sort of like when you're in wikipedia and you go down a massive rabbit hole another cool aspect of backlinking and linking is if i had to type code blocks here now remember this is our linking and backlinking page i haven't linked this text to this page code blocks but if I had to go to this page, code blocks, it would tell me that there is a unlinked mention. So what it does is it goes through your entire vault and finds any mention of the page's name over here. And what I can do is say link. And now if I go back to that page, linking and backlinking, which I can just go to by doing that, you'll see that this text is now linked to the code blocks page and we can easily flick between the two like so we can also link to specific blocks or lines on a page this can be known as block referencing or block linking and the way we do that is the same as linking to a page but we want to add some specificity so to do that and i want to link to the headings and horizontal rules page we type in the name of the page that we want to link to so headings and horizontal rules and you see that it's taken my cursor outside then i want to put the caret symbol in like so and it brings up a search dialog of all the things that we can link to within this page so if i wanted to link heading one actually let's make it simpler we'll hit we'll link heading three this is now a link to heading three on the headings and horizontal rules page so i can click like so and it takes me straight to heading three now obviously because this document is not very big this is not very significant but on large documents this would be incredibly helpful notice how it also creates a backlink over here so i can go back like so 